Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Super excited today to show you Mr. Hino's LEGO EV3 Toaster Getter. It's a really cool robot. I couldn't believe how fast I was able to build it and get it to work. And if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, everybody, before we get to the video, I just want to let you in on some exciting news. Mr. Hino has his own Lego Robotics app. I want to thank Charlie Parker for setting this up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give you right now a little bit of information on the app. Okay, so when you first enter the app, uh, my welcome video will pop up. You don't have to watch it. It's just welcoming you to the app and thank you for downloading it. So you can go ahead and just tap on the Hino Robotics logo here. And right there it has my virtual robotics lesson plan. You can take a quiz. You can even search up my videos. So if you know, you're in the first Lego League, you can type in first Lego League, hit search, and all of my videos that have First Lego League in the title will pop up. So it's a really neat app. Thank you again to Charlie Parker for setting this up for me. Again, check the description down below for the links to either the Android or the iPhone, um, whatever you device you might have. And it's just really cool. And I hope you enjoy, um, you know, if you can get a chance to download it and enjoy it. Okay, so let's talk about this toaster getter. I was thinking about everything that a robot can do that, you know, we do, but it would be nice if the robot can do that for us. Right now, my students and I are talking about robots that do everything from cook to make a bed. So I was just thinking, okay, what are some simple things that we do around the house that a robot can do for us? And I'm thinking, okay, you know, it can be doing the simplest things. So I thought, okay, how about just retrieving a piece of toast out of the toaster and putting it on a plate? So what I first had to think of, there were so many things involved with getting a toast, uh, piece of toast out of the toaster. I'm thinking about grabbing it, but then you got to lift it and then you got to take it out. So there were so many things involved. So what I did is I had to just create a robot with several different motors, one that could actually drop the arm and one that I can actually rotate it or lift it out. So it was, you know, I just took my educator robot and just basically put things together to make this happen. So check this out. Okay, everybody. So here is Mr. Hino's Lego EV3 Toast Getter. So here is what I was talking about. I needed a medium motor to, you know, have this arm be able to go up and down. But then I also needed this medium motor to be able to grab the toast. So in the program, you're going to notice a few things. Number one, it'll start off with my touch sensor. So when I touch this, it'll activate the program. So what I had to do is have this, have this arm go down to the toast because my toaster is right about this level. So it's gonna have to go down. And then I activated the claw to grab the toast. And then this arm would have to come back up, lift it out of the toaster. And then my goal was to um, have it rotate and then put it on a plate. Uh, there is a trick because I ran into a problem. If you guys ever make an arm and the arm is just too heavy because what was happening is it was grabbing the toast and it wasn't able to pull it out just because of the weight of this medium motor. So a trick was is I threaded the cable so that this couldn't go past a certain point. Do you see how um, it's not able to, because of the tension of the cable, it's not able to go past this point. So when it lifted it, it lifted it so much better because of that tension. So it was a really neat project to be able to um, show my students, you know, a robot that can do a simple action. Um, but if you just start to think about the design process and what you want the robot to do, um, you know, you guys can create anything you want. So without further ado, let's go to the kitchen and watch the Lego EV3 Toast Getter. 
Let's go ahead and toast it. That was completely amazing. It was one of those ones where, I don't know, I, I, I get wowed and excited about certain projects, but that one, I'm just sitting there going, that was really cool. So again, if you wanna try this out, I had just two medium motors, one to lift the other one, so the other one can grab, and then I can use that to lift and turn and put it on a plate. So. It's just another uh, robot that we chalk up going, yeah, we were able to figure it out. Um, and so if you get a chance, try it out. And also, if you get a chance to download uh, Mr. Hino's um, training robotics app for either Android or iPhone, it's just a really cool app to play, uh, you know, take the quiz, search up videos, but just a neat thing to have because, you know, once the videos go in, um, it's just at your fingertips. You can, you know, watch my videos. Well, you know, you can watch them on YouTube also. But it's just really neat to have that app if you want to download those. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I want to just remind you about Monday for Miss Jihino's um, World's Robotics or Lego Robotics Race. Again, you can participate if you have NXT, Spike Prime, and definitely EV3. So have your robot ready for Monday because Monday's video, I'm going to let you know what the first leg of the race is. So it's kind of exciting to have all these teams be like, when's it coming on and what do we have to do? So remember again, as soon as you find out what the first mission is, work on it, complete it, video record it and send it to me. Um, I have my email in the description. And then again, I'll send out my um, mission number two in emails because it's supposed to be secret um, so when you finish you should expect to get an email telling you what mission number two is so it's going to be super cool because nobody will know what the mission two is until you finish mission one and for those of you that cannot participate or just don't um, again I'm going to wait um, probably a week to let you know what these videos are because I just don't want to give away information to teams that are, you know, trying to finish mission one. I don't want them to see what mission two is. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I, I appreciate, did I say watching? Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you guys and your support. And hopefully you guys are staying safe, whether you're in school, at home, um, rock on to robotics. Okay. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.